All right, you guys, good morning. So today I wanted to touch bases on the Kanika Jenkins story in regards to reflecting it as an example of how targeted individuals can be placed in the same situation. Um, the reason why I state that is because if you go over the story, for those of you guys that have never heard the story, is Kanika Jenkins' um, case about the young lady who went to a hotel party and never returned due to the fact she was found dead in the freezer. Okay, there's a lot of speculation around about what happened to her or a lot of indications of it was a setup or she was drunk and walked into the freezer. However, it sits heavy on my heart believing that this young lady was set up by her own friends that she'd been knowing since the third grade. And being a target individual, we have come to terms that a lot of uh, our friends and family are involved in our targeting as well due to financial state, due to other reasons that's unexplanatory because who will stoop to that level. But however, back to the topic in hand in regards to this Kanika Jenkins story. So this young lady goes to a party with a group of her friends. It's four of them total that rode together, which means they should have left together. However, the reason why I feel she was targeted for some reason is because she was kind of iffy of going on a party, but her friends kept talking her into doing it. And on top of making sure she was going, they made sure she was the driver. She was the driver. When she arrived to the party, they took her keys and her cell phone. You can see her entering the party via elevator. And like within the next video, you can see that they're using her phone and they holding on to her keys. However, this young lady has on jeans where she can easily put her keys in her pocket. She could have easily put her phone in her pocket, but they kept making some excuse why they needed to have her phone. Like, oh, I want to use your phone to do a live video. Oh, I need to use your phone to text. Throughout the thing, it was just weird. They kept holding on to her keys and her phone. Okay, so that's point one that I felt she was set up. Then I heard a story that um, she was going to be set up or targeted because her brother got involved in some type of situation and the people wanted to retaliate against him by causing harm to the his sister however they wasn't stating that they wanted to kill the girl they wanted to physically assault the young lady take a video of it and send it to the brother that's the story i heard i don't know if that's true okay so what leads back to the friends is the friends knew the guys that supposedly wanted to cause harm to this young lady and supposedly these friends were going to get paid two thousand dollars to make sure this young lady shows up so that these guys can do what they want to do but that was it and it was she was going to be okay it was going to be a story however turn things went for the worse where this young lady was drugged and she was killed i don't think she walked into a freezer because if you watch the videos she's stumbling very hard walking down a hallway but however the police, the community, the hotel is covering it up like a targeted individual incident will take place. If something happens to one of us, they're going to cover it up. OK, long story short, getting to my point of pointing out as a targeted individual, we have to go with our gut instincts when we go into engagements to parties. We might have to start buying body cams and keeping it on you. So if something happened to you, they can't cover it up as easy as they're doing right now. Like, for example, why would a hotel staff member not release every tape possible? Then they turn around and say the tapes are not there. The tapes is there. Oh, we found some tapes, but some of the tapes look edited. So my thing is, why is he covering up? Well, my reason is of believing that he's covering that part up because he doesn't want nothing else to fall against his hotel because he's already treading lightly because his hotel was already under investigation for organ trafficking yes for the black market this man was caught selling body parts where is he getting these people from first of all are they guests in his hotel so he was already caught years few years back for selling 
body parts. So if this incident falls to be placed that this girl was murdered, they're going to point the finger right back at him. So I think that's why he's covering up, even if he has nothing to do with it. Because, you know, it looks like a bunch of thugs has something to do with this situation, but it doesn't make sense of why the manager will cover it up unless the manager hired a bunch of no life thugs because you know we get targeted by thugs to participate in this incident okay we get targeted by any and everybody cats dogs whatever long laugh laugh out loud you know but my whole point of placing this video topic on my page is to get you guys opinion because i have a lot of people that comment on my page that's highly intelligent highly knowledgeable and can see through things with their wisdom that i can't see but to me this feels like this girl was targeted and it was an organized crime because how the police are not involved with the situation or i can't say they're not involved but how they're not releasing information at this at this time and how everything's being covered up and why would you edit a tape and release it to the public and why the mama wasn't allowed to see the body it's too much why not why not why not how come how come going on so i really want your opinion and i want you guys to voice your opinions of as being a targeted individual what's your advice i know a lot of people say don't trust don't trust don't trust don't trust and this is why this young lady knew her friend since she was in the third grade calling besties they take pictures together they dress alike and come to find out it seemed like your besties is the ones that help set you up because like i said women when they arrive together they leave together if you say hey girl i gotta go to the bathroom your friends go to the bathroom with you if your friend is intoxicated most women say i'm a you know it's four of us you two go that direction but i'm gonna stay with so-and-so or me and so so we you you team up no matter what i you know i'm in my 30s and we still do that when we go to the clubs we still text each other when we get to our cars we still call each other girl you made it home like this so if my friends are missed they're gonna be missed for only about five minutes because i'm gonna be like i just spoke to her five minutes ago i just seen her 10 minutes ago so you know that's why I'm just sitting here. It's been sitting heavy on my heart and I've been wanting to seek knowledge and wisdom in regards to this case because this can happen to any one of us because as you know, we have so many people organizing our targets and she was this was an organized target. I'm sorry, target situation. We don't know if this girl is being stalked or not. And furthermore, I'm like I said, I have family members that are heavily involved in my targeting and they know it because they can't even look me in the face when i come around or actually bump into them you know at different gatherings and i did nothing to them i have my mom even say oh why you don't talk to someone so i said i have no idea they just chose not to talk to anymore because after the incident took place where my son was assaulted um I was telling everybody, like, I felt my son was set up because we can't get a police report. We can't get anything. And he was a victim of an assault that caused him to cause surgery. I felt he was set up and I felt they had help setting him up by somebody telling him his location, my location, our time where we was at and this and this and that. And the person that I heavily felt set him up was the one crying the most when the incident took place. And she can't even look me in the face no more. After this incident, you guys, she had a wedding and everything. And she's like, oh, you're not, you know, don't invite me, don't do nothing. My mom like, why you wasn't invited? I said, I have no idea. Her mom even asking why you wasn't invited. Her auntie, I said, I don't know. And then she tells people, oh, girl, I don't even know why my, my name, why so-and-so is mad at me. And I'm like i'm not mad at her i don't know what is she talking about we just haven't talked to each other but long story short i'm really trying to seek y'all advice on this story because it's really deep and it's been sitting heavy on my heart i really deep down feel she was set up and a lot of people in her community know why but nobody wants to speak up because you know like i said community harassment is real but drop your comments you know your opinion and it's not playing detective how people was mad people out here playing detective if this happened to me please play detective please play detective on my page and say you know what i think this happened this happened because i will need all the help i can and i'll be willing to get all the help i can so once again you guys stay strong trust no one trust your gut instant that's the best thing to do 
You don't got to speak because God defends you. 